I'm the research director, and what that means is I do quantitative and qualitative analysis internal to O'Reilly to figure out what we, um, what we should do, what we should publish, what events we should have. So we run these surveys, we run many surveys in a lot of different topics. Now why do we run them? We're nosy, no. We really run them because we're looking for anomalies in supply and demand. We want to see where people are looking for folks, which usually results in higher salaries, and the kind of places people are putting their skills into, you know, like, and their efforts into, to become better at it. So we find that it gets really instructive to us, and it's pretty interesting. So I'll try not to scare you too much with numbers, and we did have a designer work on our slides, so hopefully they'll be good. So, I'll, somehow it skipped the slide. Um, there we go. We had 324 people respond, which is pretty good for one of these things. We did it all on pretty short notice. That means that there's some areas where there are not very many people uh, who responded to certain like segments. And that means the data is statistically unreliable, which in non-statistic talks means don't pay attention to it. Um, and I'm doing some narrative foreshadowing here on some of our findings. So most of the people came from the US. And places like Latin America and Asia where we had very few uh, people responding, that's why you can see the results are kind of uh, funky looking down there, not that reliable. Now, we look a lot at what are called IQR, so I'm gonna explain what the interquartile range is. It's actually pretty simple. We take all the salaries, put them in a numerical order, and we take the middle half, and then we draw the range here. That means 25% are below, including probably some outliers. 25% are above, and then we take the median. The median is the midpoint of that range of salaries. The reason we use the median is someone who's very well paid, like let's say Bill Gates was a designer, might skew things very far to the right side. By taking the median, we're getting kind of like where most people are at with this. So you're gonna see this a lot in, in the slides uh, to come. So here's the US view. About half the people came from the Northeast and from California. That's about a quarter of the population, so those areas are like very overrepresented, which is something we kind of know in the design uh, field. We also know from looking at the results that California is, has much higher salaries than other places. The Mid-Atlantic is second, and that's something we see in a lot of our data uh, for other surveys as well, and it's partly because of the federal government in Washington, D.C tend to have high paying jobs in uh, those areas.